I have divided the whole construction process in six steps. First step, measuring. First I measure the whole arrow raw shaft. I know the length which I can pull and so as a result the whole carbon raw shaft must be shortened. To short the shaft I need exactly the length. All arrows must have the same weight and the same length. To shorten the raw shaft I dis disassemble the arrow completely. So I remove the knock and the arrow head. Most important is that all arrows must have the same length. Second step, shortening. The second step is the shortening process and smoothing out the end of the shaft. The fast speed of the saw blade is here important. Unevenness at the arrowhead must be removed. Third step, cleaning. Cleaning the shortened draw shaft is important. So I use a piece of paper or clothes for that and additionally you can clean it with a threaded rod or a long piece of metal. The weight of the raw shaft must be the same. That's very important. Fourth step, choosing the right knock and inserting the knock. So inserting the knock or I glue it, uh, I glue the pin of the knock. Um, is the fourth step. I use always uh, biter knocks because they do not turn with a bowstring. And for changing the knock position I use a biter knock in out tool. That is much much easier. Fifth step, I shorten the arrowheads and I glue the arrowhead. For that process I use hot glue, but you can also use super glue which sticks in seconds. But you cannot change the arrowheads in this case. So if you use hot glue you can change the arrowhead and that's the reason why I use hot glue. But be warned, you can destroy carbon raw shafts with fire or heat, so only heat the metal or the glue and not the carbon raw shaft. And do not push the arrowhead too hard in the carbon shaft or just tip it a little bit and do not uh, do it like I've done that in the video. One sentence about the glue. I use cheap glue but there exists much more expensive glue. Here in the video it is the yellow brown glue. To be honest maybe the temperature between both glues is different but the cheaper glue works very well and for me it's fine. Sixth and last step. Labeling and testing. I label the arrow with a name and a number and then you can optimize the arrow. How's the arrow flying? You can check after three or four uh, shoots how the arrow is turning or where it hits the target and how the arrow looks in the target. So is the spine value okay? You can glue the feathers and can change the weight of the arrowhead and furthermore. Shooting from different distances can also be important to check the spine value. To check the center of gravity is interesting too. Moreover, you have to check if the knock fits and the feathers do not touch the middle part of the bow. So from real optimization we are far far away with these steps. But I think you will have a good good starting point and hopefully not the worst arrow. So, these are my six main optimization steps how I create a new arrow. Would be great to get some likes and all things which I show here on my channel, I do that on my own and I do not get money for that. If you build your own arrows, 
you do it on your own risk. Pay attention because of the correct spine value and the correct lengths. I'm not a pro, but I would. it would be great to get some comments and to come into an exchange to exchange experience. And so maybe we can uh, getting better. So have fun with this great hobby and thanks for your attention. Bye bye.